what is OSI model and briefly explain what each OSI layer does in networking. Now here the interviewer is expecting you to have a basic understanding of OSI model. I have created a detailed video on OSI model. So the idea here is to discuss the interview questions. You have different mediums to explore the answers in detail. You can watch my videos, you can watch uh, some other videos as well. But the idea is to understand what they are expecting. They are expecting you to have a basic understanding of how the data is transferred using this reference model. So basically the formal definition is OSI which is called as Open System Interconnection is a reference model that defines how applications can communicate with each other over a networking system. It is a reference model. Now quickly what are the seven layers uh, of this? So OSI has seven layers. Okay, seven layer model it is. Uh, it is a logical model. So uh, uh, at the seventh layer, if you start from the top, is application, presentation, session, transport, layer, network layer, data link layer and physical layer. We have a famous acronym uh, used on our channel which we keep on reminding to our viewers and if you are new it will help you which is all people should try new Domino's Pizza. It will help you to remember this. There are very interesting ways people have commented on my videos. You can use those as well. But quickly, uh, in one line, uh, how you would describe these layers, you, you know, it, it could be a session in itself, but we'll not touch base in, in depth. We'll quickly understand. So application is the layer which is closest to the end, uh, end user. And this is the layer where the interaction happens with the software application. So the generic protocols we use is HTTP, FTP, SMTP. At presentation layer, it, it, uh, the presentation layer ensures that whatever data is coming, is actually getting converted into a human readable format and for that uh, there is data encryption decryption which happens uh, on this particular uh, layer. Session layer maintains the connection and the session between the two systems over the network. That is the role of a session layer. Transport layer provides reliable data transfer using TCP and UDP protocol. A very important uh, aspect, we'll touch base on it uh, very soon. Network layer make sure that your IP packets are routed via the routers. So here you will, uh, you know, you get your IP address and your IP packets are routed over the network. As in the data link layer, you handle the error detection and error correction at the frame level. Now, if you are not under, uh, if you are not well versed with it, go and watch the OSI model video and it will help you understand. And finally, on the physical layer, the physical transfer of data happens over the cable, over the network. Okay. So, even if you can explain this much, uh, being a non-networking or someone who's uh, not an expert is more than sufficient. You can also go in bit more detail of these layers and that should be sufficient.